But uh, it's relatively safe here. There's nothing out in the ocean that can eat you. Uh oh. Where's Rags? Say your last goodbyes to Mr. Shepard. He's coming home with me. Hello, sore vivers, and welcome back to Paul Plays Minecraft 1.9. And why are you shoving me, Jaggy? Oh, you want to show everybody what you've learned today? Okay, sure. So, Jackie, our faithful Icelandic donkey here, has been undergoing some training. And I think she would like to share this with you. Let's show everybody what you've learned. Come on, follow me onto the ice now. So, we're training uh, <laughs> Jackie here to walk on, on water that I've turned to ice. Yes, you're doing fine. You are a fast learner. Good job. Just stay behind me. Stay on the ice. So, we actually came out here to do a couple of things, guys. Not only are we training Jackie to walk across the water, because we have a very long expedition today. We're going to cross the ocean to the west and uh, go on a, on a raid. Um, so, we're going to bring her along. We want to make sure she knows how to walk on water. And also, we came out here to find another wolf. Uh, what was that wolf's name that we tamed? We found him here. Uh, I don't know, because the sign doesn't have his name on it. So, you know what? Let's get rid of that evidence. In case he comes around. Ragnar, of course. I'm just teasing. But yeah, we don't want Ragnar to see the sign. Um, we actually tamed him in this location right here. This, this very location. But apparently he was a lone wolf because there's no other wolves around here. I wanted to get him a friend. Anyway, let's fix this sign. Tamed first wolf. Perfect. Tamed first wolf. Ragnar. Episode 6, March 10, 2016. Let's get over to the longhouse. And we'll get, uh, we'll get some potions brewed up. Yes! We're going to brew up some water-breathing potions. I don't think it's a good idea to cross the ocean with animals without water-breathing potions. And here we are at the Pink Sheep Clan Longhouse slash Forge slash Alchemy Lab slash Pigsty, <laughs> etc. Hey, Ragnar. I'm sorry, my friend, but we didn't find you a girlfriend. I was hoping to find a, uh, a shield maiden Viking Icelandic sheepdog for Ragnar here, but unfortunately there was no other wolves over there. So I don't know if Ragnar was alone when we first found him. I can't recall if he had a pack or not. Anyway, they're gone now. So let's go ahead and make up our water breathing potions. We need a puffer fish. And I've already got the awkward potions in there. So toss the fish on the brewing stand. And that will make water breathing potions. Yes, hold on, Rags. We're going to go in a minute. Stop shoving. I know I want to go on the raid too, but we have some things to do first. So you definitely do not want to cross the ocean with frost walker boots with animals without having water breathing potions. <laughs> of course, they can't drink the potions, so we're going to have to turn them into the splash variety. That's what the gunpowder is for. But we're going to hit it with redstone first to increase the duration up to eight minutes. And I think while that's happening, let's go ahead and grab some blaze powder because there's something else I want to do. And it looks like we're running low on blaze powder, so we're going to have to go and get more blaze rods, huh? Down in the nether, we'll pit ice versus fire yet again. I need two eyes of ender. We're going to take the obsidian that I mined up um, off camera. And now we have two ender chests. You basically just surround the eyes of ender with obsidian and you get ender chests. And I want two of them. So these are magical chests. And if you put one down, it's pretty much permanent, so pick a good spot. Uh, I think right here is fine. We're running out of space in our longhouse. But uh, there we go. So that right there is now permanent. Unless I have a um, silk touch, I can pick it up with silk touch without breaking it. Or I can use a regular pickaxe and destroy it. I'll get the obsidian back, but not the eye of ender. But the cool thing about these is they're magical and they synchronize with other ender chests. So whatever I put in here... Let's say I put a spruce boat in there, and I bring this ender chest all the way to Heidi Hole, put it down in Heidi Hole, open it up, it's going to have that spruce chest, the uh, spruce boat in there. Pretty cool stuff. But I don't think I want to put that in there right now. We're going to save this. Uh, we're going to leave it empty for booty and looty when we go on our raid. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit these water-breathing potions with some gunpowder. That'll turn them into little explodey bombs. Just in case we have accidents crossing the ocean and one of the animals ends up falling in. There we go. Splash variety. Splash variety of potions. And now, my friends, I think we're ready to go. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sleep. I'm gonna sleep. Whoop! Right on the floor. Thanks to my ice buns. All right, guys. We just left Heidi Hole and we are racing to the west, trying to beat the sun before it drops. 
because we want to cross the ocean at night because the water will stay frozen behind us as we pass over it. It won't melt. So here we are. This is about as far west of Hidey Hole as we can go on dry land. Oh no, it's Bub! Get, it's, Jackie, come on, come, let's go! All right, this is it. Let's mark some territory right here. Uh, actually, no, let's put one banner down. I just stopped at Hidey Hole and grabbed some banners. Let me go through your pack there. There we go. We've got three banners. Let's put one here. Which will mark the, like I said, the farthest western point. See that on the way back. And now it's time to cross the ocean on foot. How cool is that? You guys ready? Let's go. Come on. Remember your training. Just stay on the path. Do not wander to the sides and try to keep up. Pretty cool, huh? This is awesome. <laughs> Wait, we're going west, right? Okay, yeah. West, we're over deep ocean. I hope nobody's afraid of the ocean, but uh, it's relatively safe here. There's nothing out in the ocean that can eat you. Uh oh. Where's Rags? Ragnar jumped in the water. It's okay. He's actually pretty good at swimming. It's the donkey I'm mostly worried about. And we have some land here anyway. Oh man, this is the way to travel. This is exciting. Very exciting. All right, we have a um, creeper here. We're just going to go right around. Do not play with the squids. Creeper can't get us out here on the ice. <laughs> this is awesome. Keep up, guys. Keep up. It's too bad I can't ride Jackie and turn the water to ice. That would be pretty awesome. Oh, actually, wait. Stop. We can stop. We can stop. It won't melt. You know what? I brought several. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. But don't jump in the water. Whatever you do. Do not jump in the water. Let me hop on. I brought several potions of swiftness. Let's drink one right now. On the hatch. I should have made it into a splash potion. So that should give me eight minutes of super duper running speed. <laughs> awesome. Here we go. Oh, even on the ice we're going fast. Look at it. Woo! Come on, you two. Keep up. Although Jackie doesn't really have a choice because I got a rope around her neck. <laughs> Ragnar's falling behind. Note to self. Next time you cross the ocean on foot, make sure you hit everybody with some speed. Oh my gosh, look. It's Atlantis. It's an underwater temple. Not quite ready to fight those guardians of that place. They're really nasty. Uh oh, here they come. Don't engage. Follow me. We're kind of off the beaten path now, but I want to give that temple a wide berth. Oh, Ragnar. Come on, Rags! See, sometimes he teleports and sometimes he doesn't. We've got a couple of small islands here, but that over there could be a little more substantial. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, there we go. Lots of land, maybe. Well, what is this? This is really cool. It's like a little shelter out here. It's like a sand glue. Like an igloo, but made of sand. Neat! We could turn this into a little shelter. We could stay here some night. Or day, depending. Actually, we don't want to stay there now because we got to get across. Put the torch away. You'll melt the ice. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> so anyway, what are we looking for out here? We're looking for snow and ice biome. Potentially a jungle biome. I'd love to get a kitty cat. And also, uh, we're looking for villages to raid. And what I'd like to find at a village is a shepherd. A sheep herder. Because we need someone to tend to our sacred pink sheep. Full time. I don't like leaving them all alone all the time. They don't have anyone to care for them. Yeah, let's go on foot right here for a little bit, shall we? We've got a savanna here and a lot of regular old sheeps. Oh, hey, zombie. Get him, rags. I get the spider. And this guy. Nice one. Yeah, we've got some acacia trees here, but this, does, this could just be like a gigantic island. I don't see... A big body of land. Hmm. All right, let's climb this mountain and have a look. Good idea. Well, 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 what do we have here in the distance? You can just barely make out a village in the fog there. 
Which direction is that? That's to the south. This is the west. So let's go have a visit, shall we? I'd love to investigate this uh, this desert too. Maybe look for some temples and dungeons. But first things first, let's go make contact with the locals and see if they have a uh, shepherd willing to come home with me. Or unwilling, I don't care. I'm taking him anyway. <laughs> if they have one, that is. We need somebody to look after our sacred pig sheep. Let's go get them. Now, here's the thing. I don't think we should ride up on a donkey. We're Vikings. So let's go over here for a second there, Pally Wally. And, oh no, it's getting dark. And I'm going to put you down. I'm going to put you over here. Actually, put you over here. All right. Wait, no. ooh, ooh, I think they're looking. Wait, stop. Yeah, hold on right here. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. I have to go. I, I need to float up in a boat. This, this is how it is. I'm Viking. Okay, Ragnar, you ready? Hop in the long boat. You gotta do this properly. Get in there. There we go. Okay, now. I'm gonna get through the ice. <laughs> I should take the boots off first. Alright, let's sail right up, Ragnar. You ready? Get your game face on. I don't see anybody. Oh, there's a guy right there. Okay, it looks like he's tending crops. Ooh, maybe they have a farmer. But we don't want a farmer. We want a shepherd. Alright, pull right up here in the long boat where they can see it. Don't want it to go down that waterfall, though. All right, that's good. Highly visible. <laughs> oh, jeez. Not the smoothest raid ever. Okay. Oh, I hear somebody. Oh, a blacksmith. That's nice. Hey, come on out of there. Look, a church. Yeah, let's get him down. Come on down here. I'm raiding the place. Name is Ragnar. Well, I'm not Ragnar. I see you. You can't hide from me, Mr. Cleric. Come on out of the church. Meet in the town square. I have some demands to make. Let's go up here. And check the blacksmith shop. I'm raiding. This is my raid right here. Good. Some gold. Take their gold. Take their bread. Take their iron. I don't really want it, actually, but I will take the obsidian. I'm going to take it because I'm a raider and I should. And let's just take that box, too. Yeah, I'll take that box, too. <laughs> Well, I just took your stuff, Mr. Weaponsmith. What are you going to say about that, hmm? I'm looking for the shepherd. Ooh. Hi. Farmer. You're just a farmer. Yeah, you're just a farmer. Uh, don't talk back. All right. Well, you know what, Mr. Mr. Farmer? Another Mr. Farmer? I might take you anyway, but let me see if there's a uh, shepherd around. I need someone to tend to the sacred pink sheep. We're with the sacred pink sheep clan. <gasps> Librarian. Ooh. Don't. He, he is acting so calm and cool. Luck of the sea. Ooh. That's actually pretty good. Okay, we must mark this territory, Ragnar. Because we're coming back. We're coming back to this place. It's a, it's a good one. All right. I'm going to keep looking, though. Another cleric. Useless. A weaponsmith. A farmer. A couple of clerics. And, oh, we have a butcher. And a butcher. Right. Well, then. Hmm. No shepherd. All right. Who's who's running this show here? You? All right. Listen, I will leave you all alone and not take anything else if you tell me where there's another town. Is there another village around? To the west? To the west. I think he said to the west, Ragnar. Okay, good. I will leave you be for now. But you know what? We're going to put a flag here. We're going to come back because this is a pretty good spot. Okay. This looks like a good spot right here on the beach. This is where we landed. We'll put a couple of torches so that we can see it from far off. And that is back home to the east. Perfect. I think we should just continue west. Let's go get Jackie and continue west. Are you hiding? Are you the same guy? Same guy. All right. We are now back on Jackie and we're heading to the west. So I'd like to stick in one direction if possible. It's easy to find your way back. Oh my gosh, there's a desert town right here. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Literally to the west, just like that guy said. Well, then I guess we'll let him live for a little while. It's such a bummer that we haven't found any snow or jungles or anything, though. It's just the same stuff. Deserts and savannas. Like, we don't have enough deserts and savannas. Lots of little bunnies around. 
Lots of chickens is. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm riding a donkey, aren't I? Well, I can't just ride a boat in. Anyway, yes, I am a Viking. I've come from the east. I'm riding on a donkey. His name is Jackie. Don't you dare say a word, Mr. Leatherworker. We got a leather worker here. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. And what are you? You look like a farmer. You're a Fletcher. You're making the arrows. All right. Don't talk back to me, man. What else we got in here? Come on out. Everybody out. Line up outside. Toolsmith. Ooh. That could come in handy. Tools are good. Wait. Aren't you the guy? Are you the Fletcher? You're the Fletcher. Mr. Fletcher. <laughs> Bring out your shepherds. And nobody gets hurt. Talking to you, armorer. And a toolsmith. Oh, this place is really populated, isn't it? Hmm. You don't have an iron golem protecting you, apparently. That's too bad. Uh, leather worker. These are really interesting professions. I've never seen all these before. Shepherd. <gasps> it's the shepherd! Hi, Mr. Shepherd! Oh! <laughs> And what a pleasure it is to meet you. You are a sight for sore eyes. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I freezing your water? Yes, I am, because I have ice boots. Uh, wait a minute. No, we have frost walkers. Yep, you're coming home with me. Here, hold this rope. Hold, hold it. Hold, oh. Never mind. All right. So the um, shepherd here is going to come home and tend to our, our flock, the sacred pink sheep flock. Wow, a lot of, like, weaponsmiths, armorers, and toolsmiths around here. And guess what? It's getting dark. So, as usual, we gotta protect these stinkers, because they can't do it themselves. They're too incompetent. So, Ragnar, you and I are on the clock. It's time to help these bums. Let's light this place up. We don't want zombies getting in there. Oh, Mr. Shepard, you know what? You. You don't get to leave. Let's slam him in here right now. Putting a rock in front of the door so he can't get out and nobody can get in. Bang! Uh, bang! Just in case a little mini zombie tries to get in there. Bub. Okay, this is looking great. Let's continue lighting it up. And then we'll stay here through the night. And we will, uh, we'll head out in the morning. I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna go. A librarian, too. Book of Thorns! Oh, baby! Can I put that on my shield? I don't think you can. And here's Mr. Fletcher. Uh, you know what? I'm not sure about that. But thorns on some armor would be pretty sweet. Good. Get inside. Stay inside. Close the doors and lock them. This town is now under the protection of the Pink Sheep Clan. But that also means I own it. <laughs> you don't get free protection. It's not how it works. Oh, here they come. Ragnar. Oh, yeah, run inside, dude. Get inside. Oh, it is Bub. Oh, sir, what are you doing around here? You're so far away from home. Ow, hey, you're done fighting me. Would you please make him stop? Hear ye, hear ye. If you try to eat my villagers, you will be killed. Wow, no. No, 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 no. No like you guys. I really wish I had knockback. On my axe. They're, those guys are tough to fight without knockback. You must leave this town now and never return. It is under the protection of the pink sheep clan. Well, Get frosty. Coming through, coming through. Hey, serve me a drink while I'm here, would you? Any one of you know how to bartend? They're all toolsmiths. You're all a bunch of tools. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Oh, there's somebody inside the blacksmith shop. You know what? I didn't even loot this place. I got distracted. Oh, gold. Take it. Take the iron. Take the bread. And take the obsidian. Alright, I have some rabbit skin on me. I didn't kill the rabbit. I picked it up off the ground. <laughs> I'm not that kind of viking. Oh, look at these guys over here. Having a party in the backyard. You guys having a barbecue? Wish I had some lava. Make you guys the main course. I'm coming in there, it's an arena fight. <laughs> Take you all on. Just me and Rags. Bang! 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 Good work, Rags. Now, we gotta do something about that sand. Let's go around and dig it up. Okay, it's almost daylight. Look at this witch up here, like she owns the place. Come down here. I'm gonna knock her down, and then I'm gonna go whack her with frostbite. 
<laughs> ha! Slammed! Sneak attack. Ooh, she was smoking. She dropped her cigarette. Yep, smoking's gonna kill you, lady. How many times I gotta tell you? All right, guys, the sun is now up. It's Oh, wait, it's not safe to come out. Hold on. One straggler here. He's down. Okay, guys, we're almost ready to return home with our booty and our looty and our Mr. Shepherd. But before we do so, we should leave our uh, usual markings here. How about kidnapped? There we go. Kidnapped Mr. Shepherd, episode 23, May 10th, 2016. And now it's time to rock. Actually, before we go, there's one more thing I need to do. I'm going to put this ender chest down here. Let's put it right here. Because I have a feeling we're going to be coming back here quite often. And we have some goodies in here we might as well store away. We're going to be looking around this whole desert for more booty and looty, desert temples and so forth. So we'll use this as kind of a way stop. Um, like a point in between, you know what I'm saying? So we might as well utilize it while we have it. So when we get home, all this stuff will be there waiting for us in our other uh, ender chest at the longhouse. And I'll be back for the crops. So today we're only going to take the shepherd. Oh, he's trying to get out. He's so mad. Hey, calm down. Listen, relax, and I'll let you out. If you don't stop, then I'm going to leave you in there. You know what we're going to do? We're going to remove that step. I'm going to put the boat right under his feet. Ready? All right, Mr. Shepherd, step on out. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! That didn't work. Let's try that again. Oh, he's going right to work. All right, I like your work ethic. However, I need you in the boat. Get in the boat. All right, get in the boat. Thank you very much. Yes, I will fix the stairs. We are responsible Vikings after all. Try not to cause too much trouble. All right, so let's see if this works. I get Jackie on the line, hop in the boat with Mr. Shepard, and let's go. This is going to work. It's going to work. It is going to work. You're right, Mr. Shepard. It's working. Goodbye, desert villagers. Say your last goodbyes to Mr. Shepard. He's coming home with me. Okay, we have some rough road ahead here. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Hold on, I'm going to scout ahead and see where the lowlands are. Lowest point. Yeah, we could probably come right through here, huh? Okay, I don't want to let him out of the boat. I think it would be easier if I just dig a man-made channel right here in the lowest point of this desert. So it'll be nice and flat. You should be able to fit through here. We're through! We're through! Kind of, sort of. This will be worth all the effort because we're going to be back here to kidnap more of these villagers in this desert town. We've got librarians and toolsmiths and a whole bunch of other cool professions that we might want. All right, let's, uh, let's get the torches out of the way and I think we're ready to roll. Okay, let's do this. I want to get out onto the ocean before nightfall. Buddy, what are you doing in the boat? No, 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 no. You can't come home with me. Oh, man. It's not funny. All right. Uh, darn it. But Oh, I'm so sorry. I had to do that. I couldn't risk it. I couldn't risk Mr. Shepard running back home. <laughs> we got to go. We got to go now. It's getting dark. Come on. Ragnar, keep up. Can we fit? Oh, no. The rope. Don't want the rope to break. Come on, guys. I know it's tight squeeze. But you can do it. Almost at the end of the tunnel. Oh, no. Sun's gone down. Moon's coming up. Still have a ways to go. You don't want to be attacked in this boat. We're so close. We're so close. Come on, guys. Keep moving. Can't put torches down. All right. I gotta, I gotta get out. Let me out. Oh, darn it. Darn it. Stay right there, Mr. Shepard. We got you. Oh, man, we, we want to get away from this village, too. Uh, well, guys, Ragnar just made up my mind for me. I don't have much of a choice. Listen, you you can't all come home with me. Pigs, cows. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to have to let you out, Mr. Shepard. Now, wait, don't run away. Come here. It's all good. 
No, oh, there he goes. Mr. Shepard, come back. Here, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. We're good. All right. Now let's continue on. Do I have everybody attached? Can't see. Yes. All right. We have the donkey. We've got Ragnar following. And now, oh my gosh. Ragnar, get that skeleton, please. We're, we're taking fire. If he hits the boat. Oh, he is. He went after him. Good job. <laughs> I don't want any creepers coming. Here come some zombies. Oh, man. All right. I have to get out. I have to take care of this. I got it. I got you covered, Shepard. You stay right there. <clears throat> Rags back. That's good. All right. Let's get back in the boat. We're almost clear. I think I can go this way. Pig, you better move. Whoa. Hit the brakes. Turn. We did it. Just got to get through the tall grass. Oh, no. Here comes another zombie. And now we're in. We're in. Get in the water. We're in. And we're away. Woohoo! I guess I could just bring Jackie home this way. It's not going to be very comfortable for her. <laughs> Goodbye, creeper. So long. You can't catch us now that we're in the boat. Ha ha ha. All right. Where's Rags? Ragnar. Hey, Ragnar, I can't have you lagging behind. Come on. Come on. Move it, move it, move it. Two ropes. Yes, two animals. Uh, Mr. Shepard, how's it look? Do I have them both? Yes? Okay, good. We have <laughs> Jackie, we have Ragnar, and we have Mr. Shepard. And we're heading east across the deep ocean, back home. Thank goodness this raid is over, because what a nightmare it was. Very successful, but also very difficult to pull off. But now we're on our way home. Nothing can stop us now. We're on the ocean. Haha. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you all in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. <laughs>